hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you so much for watching y'all thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you all so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it Okay, y'all. Well, you know, I am hearing some more things about the Makitas, y'all. Not only am I hearing some more things about Makita, I am hearing some more things about this daddy old guy, y'all. Okay? Now, um, I also have some information that, you know, somebody corrected me on about Demon, y'all. Dolph's brother. Now, where right on the street is, y'all? Maurice is Demon's father, y'all. Now, everybody, you know, when I put up Maurice's picture, not Maurice, Maurice, I put up his picture with Demon just to show you all the family traits. You know, I was saying that the brother was the daddy. Could have been Demon's daddy, okay? So, people are hitting me up saying that Maurice is Demon's father, the one that I put the picture up of. Now, y'all see those cheekbones. Y'all see those eyes. Y'all see everything about them. He has the hair, everything, y'all. Okay? So, I mean, it's a possibility. I don't know. I wasn't there. But this is what people are telling me right now, y'all. Okay? Now, another thing that people are telling me, not only that Maurice could, is, they saying he is Demon's father. Okay? Now, they're also saying that Daddy-O is Raven's father. Y'all, 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 y'all. Now, you know, I've heard so many things about Raven. I heard that, you know, Pamela Hill and them adopted her or, you know, um, raised them or something like that. And now I'm hearing that Daddy. Now, I don't know how old is Daddy-O, y'all, because I tried to look it up and I couldn't find it. He don't have information out like that. So, you know, this would help with that. Because I, I thought Daddy O was kind of young, but he might not be all, okay? But they're saying that Daddy O is her real father. And I put up the pictures together just to see if they look alike. They actually do, y'all, okay? They actually do look alike. They got them same teeth, y'all. Because I've seen her on other videos, and I'm like, she got some short teeth. But, yeah, he has the same teeth thing y'all look at the jaws and everything the shape of their face the people are saying that he is her father so is this why raven and money maya y'all mia that is and this ronisha girl and all of these people are friends ask yourself this question y'all okay and if this is true y'all because I, you know i hear so many different stories that i, I don't know but people are saying that this guy, daddy -o, that was Dolph's partner, they're saying that he owned, you know, a portion of Pre and Dolph owned a portion of Pre. And they are saying right now that daddy -o sold Dolph's portion of Pre and he kept his own portion of Pre. But they got rid of, you know, they sold Dolph's portion. Now, how in the world are these people making these type of decisions for Dolph? It's like... They say he got family down there. So why isn't any of his family coming forward? Now, I, I said this. I said maybe, you know, Money Maya and certain people are making decisions for Dolph for the simple fact that, you know, he was taken from his mother or whatever. I don't know how, what kind of arrangement that they had. So I thought that the grandmother adopted him. Okay, y'all. People are saying she didn't adopt them. She just raised them like they were her own so that makes a big difference y'all if they was not adopted then to be honest with y'all um the mother and the father still have rights over his you know his property and his things they have rights they have to go through the mother and the father they have to go through the mother and the father in order to um 
you know, separate all of his belongings with his kids. So are they just cutting out the parents now and not giving them a choice? Because I told y'all, I told y'all when Mo3 passed away, his mother and his, you know, kids' mothers were in court. You know, they were in court trying to settle out who going to get what and what and what like that. But now... I'm seeing that, you know, we, everybody's confused about Dolph in the first place because it's so many stories out there and all this other stuff. But if the mother and father's original mother and father still had their rights, then they have a right and say so over some of his money too, y'all. So I don't know, you know, I don't know what is going on with this. How in the world can daddy -O sell his portion, sell Dolph's portion? Of pre-re i don't see how that could happen unless in the parents and the baby mamas that's what i'm hearing more than one baby mama now unless everybody was in agreement y'all are they just doing things on their own and acting like that they have this power of attorney over Dolph stuff or did he leave some kind of will y'all ask yourself this question did Dolph leave a will he had a lawyer and, you know, you he did have two attempts on his life before. So, did he go and, you know, cross the T's and dot the I's with a lawyer and, you know, handle some paperwork so that certain people could handle his portions of his, his money? Ask yourself this question, y'all. Because other than that, people are overstepping their boundaries and they are doing things that they should not be doing because they don't have the rights to do it. And just like a lot of people were saying, he was not married to Money Maya. So she shouldn't be able to make all the choices that she's making, including selling his cars. Unless he left a will and left her the cars, y'all. Okay? So, you know, a lot of people is making a lot of sense the things that they're saying. Um, people is also saying that, you know, a lot of people think that Key Glock is innocent, which I don't. Because, And the reason why I don't think Key Glock is so innocent is because he's friends with all of, you know, Dolph Ops, y'all. And now I'm hearing that Daddy-O is close to CMG, too. They said, you know, when I made the video talking about um, Daddy-O is, you know, it's calling the truth with CMG... People were all in my comment section and everything, sending me messages through my emails telling me that daddy all been friends with CMG and them, y'all. You know, this stuff is getting weirder and weirder by the day. So if he's, if daddy all is, I don't know for sure, but if he is some kin to Raven through blood, not through, you know, somebody that raised her, if they're actually, you know, some kin to each other, and he is actually friends with CMG now. Y'all, this looks even more sinister, y'all, than we think it is, okay? Because that is probably the reason why Dolph was taken off at that cookie shop, y'all. Because that means they all played a part, y'all. It means everybody played a part so that they can, you know, play chess and move some chess pieces around. And Dolph was the main target to get out the way so everybody else, you know, make more, you know, room for them. And this is this is telling a lot right now, y'all. Because they are making some major moves for him. And the part that gets me, and other people are saying the same thing. If Dolph was so close to Key Glock and he was so in love with Money Maya, then why did he go to his woman and tell her that Empire did it if something happens to him? Why did he go trust somebody else from PRE? He didn't even trust Key Glock with that information. So did he not trust the people around him, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Did Dolph have a problem with trust with Money Maya? And her cousin, Key Glock. Because for him to go to somebody else and tell them and break everything down and show them his account and all this information and say, if something happens to me, this is who did it. And you don't tell the woman that you allegedly, what she's saying, she's, he's finna marry her. I mean, I'm telling y'all how convenient is it for her to pop up now and say, oh, we was about to get married. He's not here to say, oh, that's a lie. 
How convenient is that? Why this? Why right before he passed? Oh, y'all was about to get married, but before he passed, there was no word of that with anybody. He wasn't telling anybody he was about to marry you, and and a lot of people are saying that they wasn't really vibing like that in those last days of Dolph's life, y'all. So I don't know, y'all. It's starting to look as if a lot of people played a part in this mess. Okay, and it's starting to look as if, you know, this is why there are so many ties together. All of this is starting to make sense. It's starting to make sense why Money Maya is defending the cookie people. If she's so close to Daddy-O and all of these people and Daddy-O some cancer raving, I mean, this is why everybody, I mean, and they try to act as if they, they didn't have any ties together. They didn't know each other like that. But look where they got him at. And look who they had, he had allegedly for to protect him. Demon. And Demon didn't do anything. He did not do anything. Now, I know people was telling us that, oh, somebody got dropped off at the hospital. And that one, somebody in that car, that white car got hit. That Demon hit somebody. But I went back to that news report. And, and you really can't tell if that was somebody that was from that car. It just said somebody was dropped off. It was a whole bunch of people getting hit up in that area at the time. So that don't mean it was somebody from that white car that dropped. So we don't really know if that part is true or not, y'all. That somebody got hit. Because a lot of people, and then if you look at the footage, it shows demons shooting up in the air over that car. He wasn't actually shooting at that car, y'all. Or hitting at that car. So y'all... Something is weird about this whole thing, and it's not good. It really, it really is not good, and it's not much more you can say about it other than it seems like a lot of people is tied together. And I, like I said, I don't know how old this guy is because then, if we knew how old this guy is, and then we know how old Raven is, then maybe we could be like, oh, it, he might be his her, her father, but we don't know. We don't know that, but this is what's going around. That this guy, I get. I hope I got the right picture up. This that this daddy old guy. And if you look at that body shape, she is built like this guy. No wonder she want to get some plastic surgery done. She's built like him. Okay, so could this be her father? I don't know. It could be y'all. It could be. He looks young in the face. Now I don't know if this is an older picture or what, what, what. But he looks young in the face to be her father. So, I don't know. And I'm hoping I got the right picture of the guy named Daddy-O up. Okay? Because I had the wrong picture of yesterday. I had to change it. And thank you to my subscriber that told me I had the wrong picture up. But, y'all, something is odd about this. And, you know, it's a lot of people that's not denying that Demon belonged to one of the heels, y'all. The heel brothers. They're not denying this. Okay? So something is real fishy about this, and it seems as if this is really, really deep for all of these people to want him out the way. And why was everybody that was around Dolph attacked? They were all still communicating and friends with CMG, and they knew that CMG wanted Dolph out the way. He, they, they allegedly, they said that CMG sent people at Dolph twice. So why was his right hand man? You know, almost family, Key Glock still communicating with these people. And then now they're saying that this guy right here, his business partner, who was, who's, he's, you know, he owns a state in PRE. He's friends with CMG too. Oh my God, y'all. Something is not right about this picture, okay, y'all? But anyway, I just wanted to let you all know what else stuff they were saying, okay, y'all? And letting you all know what's going on. So please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks so much for watching, y'all. Peace.